Mesa grandmother is at her wits end after she says she has called everywhere to try to relocate a family of foxes that have been hanging out in her backyard. 12 News journalist Brenda Lipinski caught up with her and Brenda has she contacted animal control or game and fish? Well, yes, she has. In fact, Arvella Esley says she's called everyone she can think of to get the foxes out of her backyard. She's been referred to companies quoting her around $2,000 and living on a fixed income. She says it's something she cannot afford. That held my tomatoes up and they've ruined them all and they broke all these branches. Arvella Esley says a family has settled into her backyard near Gilbert and Brown Roads in Mesa. A lot of people might think they're a coyote, but a fox has got a longer, fuzzier tail and it's, um, you know, more noticeable. She counted nine foxes living under her shed. I'm just afraid they're not going to leave my place because it's probably cooler than being out in the open and they love underneath that shed. Coming in and out during the cooler morning hours, ruining her plants and eating her neighbor's chickens. I've put ammonia down in front of the opening. I've put mothballs down. I've called all over trying to get help because I, I just can't, I can't deal with this. I'm 83 and I just, it's very frightening to me. We called Game and Fish. I'm here at Miss Esley's house. Um, she's had a reoccurring issue. There are nine foxes living in one of the sheds in her backyard. And they told us they couldn't come catch the foxes because they don't have the equipment and recommended Arvella fill up a squirt gun with ammonia and water. Squirt the adult foxes and that would deter them to leave and to leave my back gate open because I have a brick fence and maybe the babies will follow them out in the alley and leave my house. She doesn't think it'll work, but she says at least we made some progress. I appreciate Channel 12 coming and helping me because I, I have tried everything I knew to, and people have tried to help me. Oh, Brenda, so what is next for Miss Esley? So there is some promising news for a possible solution to this. Game and Fish told us that they would be following up with her within the next week. All right. Well, hopefully there is a resolution to that soon. Brenda, thank you so much.